Okay, in the last chapter, we talked about adding video to the background of our menu so that we could have motion menus. Now let's talk about using some of the elements inside of the library that they give you with DVD Studio Pro 4. If we click here on the double arrows, let's actually go open up our palette. And I'm gonna close out of the inspector for now to make room. Let's move our palette over here. You can see that we have different templates that we could actually choose from. But what we want to talk about right now is actually some of the styles and buttons that you can drag out of their library. So if we go to styles and we come down here to buttons, click on buttons, notice they give you a lot of pre-made buttons. So let me show you how to use one of these buttons. It's pretty simple. If we just click on a button that we might want to use, we'll click and hold down and let's drag it over the menu. And notice we just choose right here where it says create button. And here's the button. And notice how we can position it and you get the design guides. Now that button's a little small, and if we actually make our menu a little bit larger, I'll show you a trick. If we click on the menu tab, we can actually break off the menu, see that? Break off the tab, let's move the palette out of the way, and if we grab the corner of this, we can actually stretch this out and make it much larger so that we can look at the finer detail of our menu. So there you go, you can see the button. And I'll show you another trick. If we want to use the same button style again, if we hold down the option key, we can actually drag another copy. Notice the design guides that help keep us locked together. And let's hold down the option key again, and we'll drag out another one. There we go. And now if we want to change the name, of course, we'll just click right here where it says button, and we could name these. We'll just call this uh, play. All. We already have a play all button up there, but this is just for training purposes. The next button, we could call this chapters. And maybe the last one is bonus. Okay, so there's our different buttons. And then of course we would link the buttons the same way with the inspector. Let's go ahead and redock our menu. Let's go ahead and scale it back down a little bit. And then if we grab the little tab, let's just redock that like so. There we go. And now if we actually click on simulate, here's those different buttons. And see there's that particular button style that we dragged out of the library. Of course we didn't link them up yet and the spacing's a little off. Let's go ahead and close out of our simulate window. And let's look at some other different styles inside of this window. So we have like these arrows. There's all sorts of stuff here in the library that you can use. You can also create custom buttons, which we'll talk about in another tutorial. Here, I'll grab another button. Let's just click and drag, and we'll choose Create Button. And I don't know, it's really small. I don't know how well you can see that, but there is an arrow there for the button. We'd have to simulate again, probably for you to see it. And you can see that little arrow there, okay? So that's how you drag basic buttons out of the library. You also have a custom button area where you can actually save your own buttons and access them right here. All right, that concludes this quick little tutorial on dragging and using the buttons inside of the DVD Studio Pro library.